And today, friends and family said goodbye to Tunch Ilkin. While he was well known for his contributions on the football field and in the broadcast booth, Tunch also spent more than three decades helping the Light of Life rescue mission. Pam Serrano takes a look at his contributions to the ministry on the north side. Light of Life says they are receiving prayers from people all over the world for Tunch Ilkin, the man the mission calls larger than life. Tunch Ilkin was totally dedicated to serving the homeless, the hungry, and those in need of hope. The fact that there's been so many lives that have been impacted by Tunch. At Light of Life on Pittsburgh's north side, when Tunch walked in the door 35 years ago, his heart for helping and sharing his faith found its home. For the past 19 years, he and former Steeler teammate Craig Wolfley held the Tunch and Wolf Walk for the Homeless. During this summer's walk, the city proclaimed it Tunch Ilkin Day, and the two former teammates announced the Thanks a Million campaign benefiting the mission. Tunch was able to see the fruit of his great faith earlier this year when the mission moved from a cramped facility on East North Avenue to a 23,000 square feet facility on Madison Avenue. But the mission says it's what Tunch did behind the scenes that truly changed lives. So people who once were addicts, people who are on the street, who are coming up and telling me stories of how they interacted with Tunch, how Tunch uh, would walk up to them and ask if he could pray for them. Uh, he would encourage them if they were having a difficult time and uh, he would share his number on Light of Life's Facebook page, the outpouring for Tunch continues, with one man writing, he was a lost soul when he got to know Tunch, who taught him about building a relationship with God. He, he would basically say that it's about he wants to love God, he wants to love other people, and then he wants to leave the world a better place. And uh, I, I think we can all agree that uh, his mission was accomplished, and I believe he's hearing, well done, my good and faithful servant. Light of Life says the next phase of the Tunch and Wolf's campaign will add a 45,000 square foot facility on Ridge Avenue, and that will be for those addicted to drugs or alcohol or those suffering with mental illness. The legacy continues. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.